My mother had macular degeneration, and this is a, a degenerative disease of the uh, retina where you start to lose your central vision over time. Uh, it runs in my family and other family members as well. So I was very interested in Solid Vision, who are working on some glasses to maybe help people be able to see better who have macular degeneration. And I'm here with Mari Ati. I'm sorry, I'm going to get right. Mari Atia? And he's going to tell us a little bit about this product. Can I hold it? Alison, thank you for your interest. Uh, what Solid is doing is uh, to develop smart glasses that would help uh, people with partial damage to the retina, like macular degeneration, help them with true vision correction to restore sight. So it's through smart glasses, and I think you've got uh, you've got some little displays here to talk about what it is. Yeah. Now, from a question Steve asked earlier when we did our preamble, I understand this is glasses that have uh, a, basically a display on the inside of the glasses. So if you're wearing these, you wouldn't be able to see through it for now. But what is, what's what's in that display? So before we talk about the product, before we talked about we talk about the technology. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the human brain, okay? Uh, so what we discovered, and I'm simplifying it, that uh, much like the way our two eyes creating a stereotactic image, we look uh, with two eyes and in our brain we see one image, although we see it in 3D, uh, you can accomplish that on, on, in one eye on the retina. So what we are doing, uh, we are projecting 64 tiles of the same image in focus, that's the trick, in focus to the retina. And then the brain, even a healthy retina, the brain would take the 64 images and the visual cortex would reconstruct one full image. So you talk about in focus, well, first of all, I have so many questions. You talk about in focus. In focus for me and in focus for you is different. How do you do that in these glasses? Oh, your is that back to the details again? No, we can do the details. So, so think about it. If I manage to bypass your pupil, I, it's not dependent on your eyesight. Oh, oh right. So you're, you're creating images that are a size that is smaller than the pupil. And what, what we do, and you can see it here, now I'll try to explain the product for you. You can see it here on uh, picture number one. We have smart glasses with two cameras facing out. And we capture this image and we manipulate it in such a way that your retina would see it in focus. So if you think about it, we capture it here and I am going to project it on this side of the retina. If I capture it on the right eye, right side, it would be on the left side. Now, I have to project on the left side of my retina, so I have to manipulate the image to be like that. And add to that, we had in invented this uh, flat optics, flat telephoto optics that allow us to do the projection. So now what's happened, we project 64 tiles in focus to the retina. And we have redundancy, so if part of your retina is damaged, the brain can still reconstruct it to one full image. So with, with 64, it's bound to have enough information to get yeah. you at least one part of your eye is, that's functional? More than one, more than one, uh, because we also have, and I'm going very technical now, uh, if you, you know a little bit about the retina, the res resolution of the periphery of the retina is much lower than the central retina. So to get good resolution, we need to project more than one image, you know? Oh, I see, I see, that makes sense. So at this point, um, we can see this is at a prototype stage. Yes, um, it obviously looks very promising. Have you been testing this with real human beings? Yeah, that's what I was about to tell you. So what you see here that I'll show you in a minute, okay, it's our first prototype. We called it the desktop prototype. Uh, and we tested it with about more than 30 patients with macular degeneration and 95 percent of them saw improvement in the reading speed some of them couldn't read and started reading some of them read but they read faster using this technology wow that's astonishing yeah i, I understand that it's really hard to get used to not being able to see in the middle 
because you keep trying to look at it and, and you, when you look at it then you can't see it anymore so that I could see how the speed would be you'd have to keep training yourself to look off axis it's normally surprisingly enough even for healthy retina if the brain adjusts so fast oh, I, I'm sorry I was talking about without this tool yeah. if I'm trying to read and I can't see in my central vision I've got to keep looking away in order to see things and that's really hard for the brain to go no 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 I'm trained to look straight at it but yeah. with this you don't yeah. have to do that Make... so people ask me to explain it in my in lay language I would tell people imagine you have a camera that few of the sensor in the middle are not working that's actually right, what's right. happening in the macular degeneration you know right so in the desktop model what we're looking at here is is taped down to cardboard but he's got one of the displays sitting there right here. There is a display with the special optics over it. And uh, we're driving it through the computer. Can we and see what it sees or anything? You can see. I'll show you what you have to do. Okay? okay. So first, you have to take off your glasses. And you bring your eyes here. And get so he's putting his eye right over it. The display. And then as you, you see a picture and you tell me what do you see, you know this lady, I think, and if you go up, you start seeing that we actually project 64 tiles. Okay, I'm going to give this a try. Okay, I need you to... Might need to change shares, or can we slide it over? I will try to bring it closer to you. Okay, so instead of using glasses, it's basically just taped down, and so I'm going to put my, my eye right down on this, all right? Get, get closer, get closer. Closer, okay, so I'm looking at a woman. You know her? It's probably Taylor Swift, is my Correct. guess. Correct. All right. Now lift your head a little slowly, slowly, straighter. You okay, start lifting. The tiles. Yes. Now I can see the individual. The oh individual wow. Tiles. Oh, that's so weird. Steve, you got to look at this. That is really, really interesting. Yeah. So I. To perceive it at the beginning, when I saw it the first time, I didn't get what's happening, you know. I, yeah, you do have to back away to start understanding you're looking at 64 individual images. I got to look at it again. Okay, I'm up real close. As I come up. That's really, I, I know that's terrible for audio, maybe interesting for video, but it is... Uh, in video, it's hard to show it because actually it happens in your brain, in your visual cortex. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we might have to train I the... I trying to capture it to explain it to friends, and I realized, what can... I don't know how to... <laughs> Actually, I think that might make some interesting video to help understand that it is my brain doing it, not my, not my, my eyes doing it, not the sensors that are my eyes. Yeah, correct. So, you've got a, a prototype now. Uh, when, do you have any idea when you're supposed to go into production, or...? You know, uh, technology is challenging. Our plan right now shows that it will happen in the spring, summer of this year. You think this year you'll have a product? Yeah, yeah. This model would, we hope, would be available in the spring or summer of this year. So how many millions of pre-orders do you have? <laughs> we don't have millions. We've, you will? We, so we, our founder, is very, Neil Weinstock, is very conservative. So he first wanted to see that it's working. He's now raising the money, and first we'll be the we'll test the prototype, and then we'll go to production. This is this is spectacular. Uh, macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness in the world. So this is a problem just itching to be solved. That's about, and I'm not good at the numbers, but I think here in the U.S. we're talking about. 20 million people suffering from macular degeneration. I, I live in fear of it. I actually have dry macular degeneration right now, which is not all dry turns into wet. Wet is the bad one, but all wet was at one time dry. So I live in fear of this. So maybe this will be all working by the time I get it. Am I allowed to give you advice? Sure. Just keep uh, doing follow up with your ophthalmologist. I do. I go, I go every six months to a retina specialist and I take all the vitamins that they know can help. But uh, so, I mean, it might never happen, but... Maybe one day they would find a cure, but right now they know how to slow the progression of macular degeneration. They right. don't know how to cure it. Though. That's right. So if, if people want to find out about solid vision, it's S-O-L-I-D-D-D -D -D vision. And is it solidvision.com? So it's solid, S O L I. D D D solid3d.com. Say that one more time. 
It's solid S solid S O L I D D D dot com. There we go. Got it. Thank you. There is one reason for that because the beginning of this company, this is a startup of 15 years. So in the early days, they were trying to develop 3D technology for 3D movies. Oh, wow. Okay. I like it. I like it. Now I'll remember the name for sure. Well, thank you very much, Marty. This is fantastic. Pleasure. Right. Thank you.